In the remote forests of northeastern China, local harvesters climb trees as high as 100 feet to reach this region's most valuable product, pine nuts. The job is dangerous, but the reward is high for people willing to risk their lives. In the U.S., pine nuts, which are actually seeds, can sell for upwards of $117 a kilogram. Compare that to the price of pistachios, which can sell for about $39 a kilogram. So what makes pine nuts so special? And why are they so expensive? Around the world, there are 30 species of pine trees that produce edible seeds, yet only a handful are sold commercially, like Korean pine, which grows here in northeastern China. It needs specific conditions to grow, and unlike almonds and pecans, which can be commercially grown on orchards and plantations, most pine nuts come from natural forests. The trees need to grow for at least 25 to 50 years before they bear cones and seeds. Even after all this time, individual trees will only be ripe for picking once every two years. When the time comes, local harvesters make their way into the forest to do the most dangerous part of the job the moment they arrive, scaling those 100-foot trees to reach the cones and seeds. Those who are willing climb 20 to 30 trees each day, armed with long poles and spikes attached to their boots, which they use to knock the cones to the forest floor. Because of the risk, and because this job can't be done by machines, processors must also pay for accident insurance. It costs about 900 yuan, or $139 per worker each month. And insurance costs get even more expensive for harvesting companies when paying for workers by the day. Another unpredictable element of harvesting pine nuts is just how much time harvesters have to collect the pine cones each season. For example, the Korean pine season typically starts on September 1st and can last as long as two months or be as short as 20 days. This brief window of time means laborers have to collect as many cones as possible into their large burlap sacks. On average, they can fill four to six bags a day, with a single sack often weighing as much as 142 pounds. They get paid by processors in two ways. First, they earn a day rate, which is around $123 a day. And second, they get paid by how much they harvest. As of September 2021, a processor will pay $720 for four full bags of cones. These bags then go to a processing facility, where the cones are opened and crushed to reveal the pine nut shells inside. Cones that are sold to processors often come in green and unripened and need additional processing. Knowing exactly when a pine cone needs to be threshed is an important part of the process, as it can determine the quality of the seeds inside 
and ultimately the final price they can be sold for. It's only after the pine cone scales are opened that the pine nuts can be extracted. And even then, the cones don't yield many seeds. This means that 250 kilograms of pine cones yields only 50 kilograms of pine nuts. Because a majority of pine trees grow in natural forests, there are large variations in the yield from year to year. This causes demand to often outweigh supply, driving the overall price of pine nuts up. But the price of each pine nut also depends on its size. Once processed, some seeds are sold as they are now, in their shells. Others are sold as the white nuts you see in dishes like pesto. They are the same nuts, just with the outer shell removed. The two largest producers of pine nuts are East Asia and the Mediterranean. Korean pine, which is the most common species to grow in China, makes up 59% of the world's global supply. By 2025, the pine nut market is expected to grow by $332 million. And with a growing demand for foods like pesto and hummus, it's likely that the price you pay for pine nuts will only continue to rise.